So this is supposed to be the great Vinnie Cannoli. That's right, Louie. They call him the tyrant of Thugtown. Oh, yeah? Never heard of that place. You're kidding me, right? Who's never heard of the Thugtown incident back in 28? No, what about it? Nobody really knows what happened over there. But the story goes that the local gangsters peddled some bad hooch, turning the entire city into a bunch of crazy cannibalistic freaks. Wow, for real? Yeah, I kid you not. Some beasters. In the end, the army gassed the entire town with everyone in it. The whole area has been quarantined ever since. That's freaking whack, man. So where does our little pal here fit in? Well, there was only one guy who miraculously survived the whole massacre. Didn't have a scratch. They say he must have done some nasty stuff to get out of there alive. The government tried to make him do time. But in the end, the whole incident was swept under the rug, and therefore all charges against him were dropped. Wow, seems like quite a fella. So, Tony, who was that guy? <laughs> you kidding me, Louie? We're looking at him. Wow, you're joking, right? <laughs> he doesn't look so tough now, does he? Just untie me, and I'll give you a demonstration. <laughs> He's got a big mouth, that's for sure. I got the chainsaw right here, Tony. <laughs> Let's make this a night to dismember. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Louie. But no can do, my friend. The Dark Don wants him alive. But we can straighten him out a little bit, folks. <laughs> you guys are freaking hilarious, you know that? Oh, yeah? How's that? Because you really stink at tying ropes. <laughs> Forecast for you, Louie. It's gonna be bloody, bloody with a chance of body parts. <laughs> Joe Barista here. Joe, it's Vinny. Listen, I got half the friggin' town tailing me. You gotta get me the hell out of here, fast! Okay, okay, stay put. Where are you? I'm not sure, but it looks like I'm in the Lower East Side of the city. Oh, man, that's not good. Not good at all. There's a police raid going on in that part of town. Too much heat to send a car over there right now. Come to the pilot bar next to the old airport. I'll meet you there. Don't get pinched, okay? What's going on out there? Why is every wise guy in the city trying to get me? I thought everything was squared out with the other families at the last sit-down. It seems there's some new gangster in town calls himself the Dark Don. Nobody knows who he is, but he's got every wise guy in the city in his pocket. Word on the street is he's uh, got a particular interest in you. That's so. Well, I don't like getting chased around town like a friggin' dog. Where's this guy's hideout? I'll pay him a little visit. Teach him some freaking manners. That's the weird part, Vinny. Everything indicates this Doc Don is running his show straight out of Thug Town. What? Yeah, I kid you not. This guy on the force told me they reported an unusual amount of activity there lately for a ghost town. My best guess is you'll find your answers then. I hoped I'd never have to set foot in that freaking hellhole again. That's the way it's gotta be. Then so be it. Nobody make a freaking move. You with the freak show. What the hell's going on here? You talking to me? You see any other guy dressed up like a friggin' nightmare around here? What's with the stealing of those barrels with that zombie poison? I'm telling you right now, that's a bad idea. So what are you monkeys doing? <laughs> There's only one monkey here, Mr. Vinny. And that is you. How the hell do you know my name? <laughs> Don't get it, little man. You came straight to this place just as we have planned. 
We have special plans with you back in Germany, so there's no need for violence. If you just come aboard quietly. Oh yeah? You better have a freaking army ready if you want to put me and that thing alive. Have a height of the Wehrmacht? We got about a zillion soldiers. Nazi, thank you. I'm telling you, Joe, I just tangled with half a freaking battalion of Nazis who are working with this dark dawn. Don't know what those weirdos want me for, but I ain't gonna sit here and do nothing about it. Yeah, you's right. We should fly to Europe and kick their asses. You serious, Joe? You do know there's a war going on there, right? Forget about it. You ain't gonna let these bastards get away with this, right? Crap, this thing's getting out of hand here. Listen, I got an old beat-down B-17 in the hangar that could make the trip to Europe easily. We gotta move fast. All right, let's do it. Gotta be kidding me. Danny, look, the Allies are landing on the beaches of Normandy. We're hit. I don't know how long I'll be able to keep this thing in the air. You're gonna have to jump, Benny. Well, at least I won't die alone out here. Here I go! to see a familiar face around here. Mr. Cannoli, how convenient of you to invite yourself. This time, you will not escape. I ain't going nowhere, pal. Now tell me where my pilot is, or there's gonna be pieces of you all over France when I'm done. You mean Joe Barista? I think he will be enjoying his pension somewhere in the Bavarian mountains by now. He has done very well. What are you saying, Fritz? You stupid little man. Joe has been working for us the whole time. What? Well, that's why he was so eager to send me to Thugtown and fly me to Europe afterwards. That freaking bastard! <laughs> exactly. Now, if you could be so kind as to drop your weapons and come quietly, there's no need for violence, but we will use force if necessary. We'll see how much force you'll be needing to crap out the amounts of lead I'm gonna pump into your gut. <laughs> Ugh, I've had just about enough of your uneducated behavior. I will take you down myself, personally. Vinny? You still running around? You two-faced bastard! I know what you did! Yeah, well, a man's gotta do what he's gotta do to make a living, right? They paid me a lot of dough to get you here alive. I hope you got to enjoy every penny of it, Joe, cause the hammer goes down right now. I hope you got armor, Vinny, cause I got tons of it. You show your ugly mug so I can see your eyes before I put a bullet between them. Remember me now, Mr. Vinny? Frankie? So it was you? My god, some turds really are too big to flush. Still a comedian, eh, Mr. Vinny? I had a lot of years to plan my revenge after I survived your little murderous outburst in Thugtown back in 28. How in the hell did a freaking lunatic like you end up being the boss of this whole operation? Oh, after I heard the Nazis were looking for special weapons, I offered them a little bit of my zombie booze, and they were very eager to buy it from me. I made a fortune selling that stuff. <laughs> 
What are you working with the Germans for anyway? What the hell is wrong with you? Ah, those Germans. They'll think I'm helping them build their precious Third Reich. Screw that. I'm building my own army here. And when I'm done, even the Fuhrer will have to answer to me. I will rule the world, and those schnitzel munches help me do it. <laughs> you was a nut back then, and you're an even bigger nut now. Once the Allies march in here, they'll mop up your little pigsty, and you'll be swinging on a rope soon after that. That's not gonna happen, Vinny. And you know why? Because once this factory has harvested your precious blood, I will be the only person in the world who has the cure for the zombie poison. So better be ready, Mr. Vinny. This is gonna hurt. scratch visiting Europe once from my bucket list. Uh, I'm done with this crap. Now where's the exit out of this freaking mountain so I can find a plane and get the hell back home? What the... Well, it's better than prison. <laughs> 